Early one morning in October 2014, Raja, a migrant laborer from West Bengal, was arrested along with three locals for allegedly conspiring to commit theft. In March 2015, four months after the three locals got bail, Raja was granted bail on the condition that he has to produce two local people who would be able to ensure his presence in court. An outsider from West Bengal with no local networks, he didn't know anyone in the city who would vouch for him. Further, his lawyer did not have a copy mm? of the bail order. The court staff was on leave for a week. When they returned, they couldn't find the bail order and neither could the police. Three months later, it was found. In all this time, Raja's only contact with his family, far away in rural West Bengal, was an occasional phone call. Too poor to pay for his lawyer, they could offer no help. After regular follow-ups, his lawyer finally managed to arrange two local sureties. When the matter was heard, the judge accepted the surety and asked Raja to produce an ID. Neither Raja nor his family had any ID proof or even a photograph of him. And in any case, the requirement of an ID is not in any Indian legislation or case law. To this day, Raja remains in jail. Worse still, he is unaware as to why he was picked up that morning. Raja is not alone. There are thousands of under-trials languishing in our prisons because of our unjust bail system. Bail is usually granted on deposit of money or on production of a local person who vouches for the under-trial's appearance in court. This makes it extremely difficult for prisoners who come from a poor background, especially recent migrants, to get released on bail. We need to move to a fairer system with non-monetary alternatives to bail. It is time for us to stop punishing poverty.